Hi, so just a quick one today um, on holidaying alone and whether it's a good or bad idea. Um, I'm 52, I've never done it before um, and I'm here now in Tunisia. It's my last day, I'm just getting ready to go home. Um, I couldn't get the same annual leave as my partner. Stick you up there. And we'd planned to go away at Easter together with his daughter because of the school holidays. And then I couldn't get the time off work and had to take this week. So we agreed that Paul would still take his daughter away because they needed a holiday. And, you know, she's a busy time at school and stuff. So they were planning away. Um, and I started to think about me not having a holiday and what, what could I do? And I thought, Shall I go on my own? I've never done it before. It was quite scary and uh, I, yeah, it took a lot of thinking about it. But in the end, I decided to just do it. And um, I did a bit of research on where to go and safety and stuff. Um, and I used, there's a government website. If you're traveling abroad, you might know it already, but if not, I'll pop a link for it in the description. It's really good. It tells you all sorts of safety advice and health advice on countries that you think you're going to. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, I'll keep covering the camera. It's early. I'm sorry. Um, I booked with TUI because I wanted... I guess I wanted some security of somebody knowing I should be there. Um, yeah, I've never really done packages, not for a long time. Paul and I tend to just book hotels and flights individually. Actually, I think this was absolutely the best idea to book a package because there's a few of you together on the transport that are staying at this hotel go to the welcome meeting, definitely go to the welcome meeting with your Chewy rep because you'll see those same few people. Not everybody will go to that, but some of them will. And that's a good opportunity to start talking to people if you want. I mean, you might just want a week on your own, which is fine, do that. But if you just want to connect with somebody, then come in with a, a tour operator, go to your welcome meeting. Um, I've met some really lovely people and... Of course, you don't want to encroach on their holiday. So I've done a lot of things on my own still. Always at on my own, apart from the one a la carte night when a lovely couple, Dawn and Mark, invited me to join them. But on the, on the whole, yeah, eating on my own, which I was happy with. Um, I, I look back now, at all the years I was single and didn't go on holiday because I'd got no one to go with. And I just think, what a waste of opportunity. Because now I've done it once, it's just been so lovely. And if you are contemplating, shall I go on my own? Is it, you know, if you're like me, I was thinking, am I a bit of a loser? <laughs> if I go on my own? Absolutely not. In fact, I've had ladies come to me saying I've inspired them um, and that they now would like to do the same thing and have a holiday by themselves, perhaps something they've thought of before, but never thought of it as a reality. And seeing me here has encouraged them that this is something they can and want to do. So hopefully I can inspire some more of you as well. Um, don't waste your life because you're on your own. Don't waste your life because you haven't got anyone to go with, because actually you don't need anyone to go with. You just need the dollars in the bank to book it um, and a bit of gumption to get yourself there. I mean, I'm not going to lie, the day, well, the night before when I went to bed, I was a little bit scared and um, I could easily have dropped out at that point. But just do it. I've had a lovely week. I'm looking forward to getting home and seeing Paul. Of course I am. But yeah, get yourself on holiday, girls.